Hi guys, so we're here today with our beautiful guest. And she's actually trying the invisible bead method. Really excited to make a video on this. It's a long time coming. One of the best things about this method, I'm sure you guys know, is there's no exposed beads. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. We have about five wefts in this row right here. And when you pull up her hair, you see no beads, you just see hair. It's one of the hottest new trends in hand-tied hair extensions right now. Hand-tied hair extensions applied over the beads and under, and we're gonna sew them together, and that's gonna make your invisible bead method. These partings do have to be very, very clean in order to ensure that whenever you're taking your square bases, they're able to go under and over the wefts. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a little bit. So for our guests, we actually picked out a level six and a level three, four. It was a pretty interesting conversation because she's not sure if she's gonna be wanting to go light in the future or go dark. So we actually just decided to color blend them together so she has that flexibility. So we did it with putting the dark on top this time, which is gonna give her a really subtle balayage look. And once we showed it to her, and we actually put it in, she loved it even more. Super blended, super natural, more of an organic look. As she transitions lighter, the following time that we do her hair, we'll actually rotate the wefts, put the light on top, and she will have more of a lighter sun-kissed look. And that'll be right on time for summer. So it's really cool how with the hand-tied wefts, which is why I love hand-tied wefts as opposed to machine-tied wefts, with hand-tied wefts, they're actually thin pieces of hair that you can color blend together to create different looks. So lots of flexibility, which is gonna be much needed because we're having her wear this hair for the next, hopefully six months to a year and a half. So we don't want to have her purchase new hair based on a color change. So we're all finished. We've done two rows of the invisible bead method with our hand-tied wax. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a look at her blended colors. Two different tones, super subtle, super blended. It gives her a nice, natural, lived-in balayage look. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna get one more look at those hand-tied wax. Invisible bead method. No beads exposed. We're gonna go ahead and look at the bottom one. We have no beads exposed. 